Wait a minute. So this is, uh, these are the Sunder Caverns. But I think I've gone somewhere completely different where, from where I expected to be. Yeah, I didn't mean to go to the Sunder fucking Caverns. I meant to go to the Split Rock Depths. And now I need to fight a billion fucking winged flesh babies yet again. Get the fuck out of here. I hate the sprites so much. They are so annoying and they die in one hit. And they always come in swarms of like five fucking billion. So they make it really, really, really hard to just get through fighting them. No, as much as I do want to get those fake hands, I think this is way more important. Reading this fucker's diary seems way more interesting to me. So... And it does count as a side quest, not just a task. This should be pretty damn interesting. And we go. I just hope this doesn't end up being like, Oh yeah, well, you finished that thing in the cans? Well, now you're going back to this place you finished like 20 fucking minutes just before. Because the game loves to torture me like that, doesn't it? Wait a minute. I've been here. I've been to this place before, unless they've started repeating dungeon layouts. Which I doubt that they would. But what is it reminding me of if it didn't- No, I've definitely been here. I'm sure of it. But I don't really remember fighting bar guests in a place like this. Am I- am I being completely stupid? Was this like a really obvious dungeon that I went through like five minutes ago that's already just left my brain? Is this sick me talking? It could very well be just like the plague rotting my innards. What have we got here? Protection shard. Fuck yeah. I don't know if they're in any way half fucking decent, but I will take. Because they take up no space, because the game's actually nice in that regard. Oh, by the way, we have like 40 slots right now. We've, we've got a lot of room to mess with. I never opened this. So maybe we are in a completely new area. Come on, first fucking try. There it is. I am a genius against really, really easy chess. But shh. What do we got through here? And I mean, saying that, you guys recently watched me fuck up an easy one and broke two lockpicks on it, so... Let's not- let, let's just- let's pretend I ever said that. Let's pretend I ever tried to look cool, yeah? Is this one also gonna be locked, or is it- Ah, it's not a chest in general. I always forget that the chest icon never means chest. It, it's so annoying. I almost want to take those daggers so I don't, like, have to come back here later just to double check. Because I know I will. I, I know I'm not nearly smart enough to think that I was- Whoa! to think I was right ever. You're new. You're my guy. I wish you looked a bit different from the thing I can summon, but then again, I guess it makes sense if these are supposed to have been summoned by a, uh, I don't know, an outer fucking being. I don't know what that means, and that's definitely not what I tried to say, but it's what we're going with. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs> we made him backflip. I would love it if the bones sort of come apart when you break them, when you kill them, but I guess that's just a little bit, little bit too pleasing to us for. We already get to shatter boggarts whenever the fuck we want. So, I guess that just gets a little bit too sick when, uh, when you're doing it against humans, or at least human corpses. Where does this lead? Why does this go outside? Because outside was definitely not what I was going for, but I kind of want to see where it leads at the very least. Maybe it's the only way into a certain part of Huxy. This should give me a fast travel place as well, which is why I'm mostly doing it. Either that or it just leads me to a lovely little chest. And potentially, Brother Patrick, who the fuck are you? I know you. I know that name. I just don't know what mission you came from. As in actual mission, not like a mission that I get sent on. As in, like, the religious missions. Brother Patrick has perished while on his personal exploration quest of Split Rock Depths. On his body is a tattered journal detailing what happened. And this lovely chest where I guess he left the last of his belongings? I don't know. Let's go ahead and have a nice little read. I wonder if eventually I would have been sent to go find this dude's corpse anyway and I just sort of preempted. That would be very nice. What would a shitty little monk sound like? He can't have, like, the... Ooh, a booming fucking posh voice that I do for all the cool people. So I guess I can make you like a little peasant man? Day 8. Split rock depths feels like a winding maze as I travel deeper into the cave. I've been attacked by a few- I've been attacked a few times already, but was able to narrowly escape. Day 16. I feel that I am closer to finding the hidden exit. I terribly miss my companions from St. Edric's and wonder if I made the right choice by doing this. Day 81. I'm cold. I'm beginning to run low on supplies. I will not return until I have found the treasure I seek. I will show Brother Holt that he can be proud of me. 
that my search was not in vain. I will make all the mugs so proud. I don't, I don't think it's very possible to be proud of a corpse as shitty as you, sir. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know why I'm insulting the dead. But I mean, come on, dude. Try harder. What were you even looking for? How do you spend 81 days in a relatively small dungeon? I mean, you were clearly able to fight off these fucking skelly bitches. You weren't terrible at everything. You were just an idiot and decided to just have the eternal schnooze out on that fucking cliff face. Body looks relatively fresh as well because they didn't make you a skeleton or anything. And I guess they didn't really want to show decomposing fucking brain matter. That is a little bit over the top. There is, there is not a troll out there, game. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. That was literally just, like, oblivion. If I jumped off that, I would have no legs. And I already barely have legs. I mean, who needs legs, right? But I'd still, I'd still rather keep them for just a little bit longer. And I really, really wish I could use my, um, my undying storm attack or whatever the fuck. I know it's not called that. I don't know where that came from. I tried to be cool, okay? Um, yeah, I wish I could use that as a stealth thing. I know you sort of have to charge it up and make a shitload of noise first so it doesn't make any sense. But still, it's amazing. Damn, when I get so good at magic. You know what? Fine, if you want to stand, like, right here, you can fucking eat it. Okay, he doesn't want to eat it. He is not very hungry. No one is very hungry. That guy died? I think that guy just had a heart attack. He didn't come up with any damage numbers. I think he just died of his own accord. He just chose to go down there. And to be honest, dude, I can't really blame you. That would have been the testicle tasing of a lifetime. Which implies that you've had previous less than stellar testicle tasings in the past. And that was going to be the best one yet, but I, 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 I hope not, dude. I hope not. In which case, I understand why you want to die so much more. There we go. God <laughs> damn. Oh, and I hit him with the extra lightning. I love when that happens. It's so rare and it barely ever works, but when it does, it makes me oh so very horny. And that is my first crit with that. And that was the coolest goddamn thing. Scepter of Twilight. Thanks, I guess. It's not great. This thing, this thing, at least it will sell kind of a bit. Any reason going up there? Unless there is going to be some amazing loot hanging underneath this single vine, then it kind of just leads back to exactly where we were. I don't know why I do this. I don't know why I'm, I'm addicted to just clearing out every single little fucking area. Especially when, like, for the most part, quests and important items do show up on the map. But, I mean, we didn't get a quest icon for brother Patrick's corpse, but maybe that's because it's a task. But I mean, task givers always get the uh, exclamation point. I don't know. And you can't say it's because it wasn't a living human. Because I mean, the fucking Echo Stone also had the exact same thing. That was amazing. I didn't even mean to do that. I didn't realize you didn't need to charge it fully. You sort of just preempt that whenever the fuck you want. That is amazing. I'm invincible. I refuse to believe anything. I am- uh, nothing can take me down right now. I can probably take on Anakatos again and then one-shot it. That is such a brag. That is so not true. I hated Anakatos, but I'm maybe not even that wrong. First try on a hard lock. There is no way I'm wrong. I- it's clear that I'm a demigod now. Not even in the game, just- just me, myself. Absolutely. My dad was Zeus. What have we got around here? I mean, it's the only explanation, right? Who else could just stumble into blind luck 400 times in a row, which is basically how I completely play video games forever. Ah, no skill, just luck, and it makes everyone but me really angry. What have we got around here? Wait, this is the end? This is what you came here for. This is what Brother Patrick, Patrick was seeking. This sucks. Oh no. Keska. Who the fuck is Keska? Keska's not the gnome. I, th I thought the gnome had betrayed him for a second. And, um, which would be stupid because he sent me in to find his journal. And his journal is exactly where all the details are displayed. So it, it can't be him. But I still recognize the name. Who the fuck are you? This, uh, I'm going to read this because this seems very interesting to me. But as always, if you want to skip because you don't like uh, just sort of like the reading sections, totally understand. I'll see you guys real soon. But if you're staying, god damn, you're sexy. Right. That was creepy. I'm so sorry. Day seven. Uh, he's got to sound more panicked than that. Day seven. Keska betrayed me. 
Thought the girl wanted that foolish cult destroyed, but it turns out she was just bait! Why can't I ever resist a pretty pair of legs? Damn fools keep chanting and smearing that foul-smelling sap all over their faces! Kanarok hired me to kill this cult, but I've only become another tender morsel for its dark tree god. Some bounty hunter I turned out to be! I have others. People and creatures penned like cattle in cages. Think we're food, but for what? I need to get out of here. Day 11. Ceremony last night, or, or, or day, I, I can't tell. Everyone chanting, holding hands. Something was killed, couldn't make out what from my cage. Screams sounded human, mostly. There was a thunderclap, I think. Then every torch in the place went dark. Lots of screams, wet sounds, smacks and swallows. Smell of blood. Been quiet for a while. Not sure what's happening, but they forgot about me, I bet. Day 13. She came near. I think it was her. Casca. Her hair was white, though. Legs. Too long. Her voice, like teeth scraping on bone. Her eyes are so bright. I think she's becoming something else. Something different. And I think she ate the others. Am I next? Day 21. No sign. No food. Drinking sap that drinks from the dark above. Her voice is everywhere. She hunts in the cave, eating with thick, wet gulps. I think she forgot me and my cage. I'm glad it's dark. Can't see. Don't want to see. Soon I'll be thin enough to fit between the bars and then I'll escape. You mean she didn't creep up on me while I was reading? Like in any other video game ever? Like this game has done like 14,000 fucking times before now? Oh! Wait, no. This is Horace Despero. It's Horace. His name is Horace. There's no way a dude called Horace was a fucking bounty hunter. Like, well, what is that journal? The Journal of Stellan Reitan. The height of crime as well. I didn't realize the quest was called that. Who the hell is the criminal here? Can I read this again? Can I just get another one? Oh, you bastard. That would be so good. Oh, well. Yet more reading, huh? What a, what a gnome sound like in my head. Hold on, let me take another big sippy. Lotus Mining will be astonished at these findings. So many reagents lie within these woods. The alchemical implications are enormous. Wild Fae pose quite the problem, though. It will take an exorbitant amount of manpower to subdue and control the beasts here. Still, the potency of the plant life here should make it worthwhile. The Fae themselves might be a problem, though. Assuming the fabled city of Issa actually exists. Haven't seen anything to indicate that it's real. Wouldn't surprise me if the ruins I keep finding are only the vestige of their rule. Overall, Dalentath should make for quite the profit for the company. Headquarters will be pleased. So... Terrifying monster lady. What's- Oh, he didn't get eaten. But he definitely fit, didn't fit through the bars. You're telling me this is the dashing rogue that can't resist a pretty pair of legs? Well, he definitely couldn't resist something. Jesus fucking crap. Probably the pangs of starvation. That's pretty hard to fucking resist. Jesus. What is this murky sap shit then? And I don't hear her, like, hunting at night, but that journal was dark, dude. Ah! Oh, it's a Leanche. That's fine. Uh, I've dealt with, like, three of these. She's- she's dead. You ate the others? You're telling me no one, or all the prisoners combined, can- no, the, the, Look at these shitty cages. Look at these pathetic, like, barely held together cages made of twigs. You can just either, for one, kick one out, or two, just slowly loosen one. They've got to be held together by something. No? No, I mean, I guess that makes noise, and I guess you're terrified they didn't do this shit right in front of you. How did she forget about your cage? Your one is right by where they do all the rituals, unless maybe she tries to stay away from the ritual place? I, I don't know if they were worshipping her. I don't know what the fuck was happening, but that was not a pretty pair of legs. That was, that was quite the opposite right there. Right? Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. I do not like what they did to you. You're even grosser than I expected. Jesus. Oh, those are not legs. Although there is only... A, oh, no, never mind. 
You sort of look like a carrot and an octopus crossbred. Like, have you ever seen a carrot that becomes multiple carrots at once? That's what those legs look like. And I hate everything about that. What a weird comparison. No one's gonna... No one is going to get that. Le that I think I'm thinking back to, like, a specific picture I saw, like, 12 years ago. And for some reason, I'm like, oh, yeah, everyone also saw that picture. Of course. It was internet gold. Of course it wasn't. It was a picture of a carrot. But whatever. Let's get the fuck out of here. A uh, pile of rocks. We got that thing there. Ooh. Ooh, this cave has a wonderful echo that you can only really hear when the, uh, when the music isn't going. Fuck me, I was really scared that there was something right behind me then, but it's just my own feet. Jesus, dude. I've never been terrified of my own goddamn tootsies before. But this game has made it possible. Absolute genius. Fucking 10 out of 10 right there. It's what I've always wanted. I've always wanted to fear my own feet. Then I wouldn't be so damn interested in them, so damn excited. Let's make our way out here. God, I keep needing to take so many big sippies. Mm. I fucking hate being sick, dude. What's the time? It feels really late, but I don't think we've even been going that long. It's only seven, so I'm probably gonna go like another three hours yet. Unless my sickness decides to absolutely end my existence a little bit before then. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go as long as that I feel like I can before I start actually dying. Because I don't really want to die on camera, but I'm perfectly happy to be in like, the, you know, the death throes. By the time we stop. What the hell is that sound? What are you sending at me now, you monster? I mean, she's dead. And I highly doubt they're going to make her respawn. But I I'm just amazed we never ran into a single cultist. I mean, this place was entirely occupied by terrifying fucking bar guests now. Maybe they were werewolves. Who the fuck knows? Not me. But I don't know. I don't like that. I did not like that place at all. That was horrible. I don't think this is too great for your mining operations, sir. Please leave forever. Even if I've cleared it out now, you've still got the sap, and I, I don't trust the sap at all. Plus, you never know if those things technically count as fey, and they're just gonna come back, like, immediately and chew on your wang My yet channel. again. Oh, I trust this wasn't too difficult to obtain. What's Not nearly as difficult as your fucking friend. I'm sorry. I didn't make that. it. Thank you for being brave enough to So much more excited about the what fucking the journal, huh? As we agreed, here is some gold for your trouble. I appreciate your help. Tell me what to, tell me more about Horace Despero. Uh, terrible what happened the to worst him. accent I think I've ever done, you but still. Remember Horace Despero is the bravest gnome I ever had the pleasure to meet. He was one fine, dedicated worker. You don't find that sort of ethic much anymore. Oh, he was clearly very fucking dedicated, don't get me wrong, he was st after all he had seen in that chasm. And I mean, if he only went in recently, I know you were worried about him, so it must have been like a day or two. But I mean, that means he was fighting off bar guests. He even ran in to like the fucking queen of that place, who probably ended up ending him, but still didn't eat him. He put up enough of a fight to earn her respect and was like, eh, I guess he's a little bit more than just a tiny little adorable steak man. Oh, Jesus. Good for you, Horace. You earned being known as Horace and not Horace for the rest of your life. And I'm sure, I mean, who could, what, there is no greater achievement than finally graduating out of the name Horace. Ah, I hope you're reincarnated as someone who, with parents who actually loves them. There you go. Gnomes don't count as fey, do they? They are young race. They are a young race. Yeah, of course they are. They fucking built us. If they, uh, if they, if they could just re-fucking spawn. But I don't think they'd need the Well of Sorrows or whatever the hell it was called. That was the closest dodge I think I've ever got. To the point where I think it's the only dodge that ever bothered to go into slow motion. Which is insane, because I thought Ana I fought Anakartos, and apparently I never got a dodge worthy of it then. The amount of- I mean, you can only dodge in that battle. There's the only way to fight him. Ah, uh, whatever. R return. To Declan Malus. Who the fuck is that? I guess the guy who told me to kill all the trolls, but... I don't remember that guy. I don't remember that name. You sending me somewhere else entirely? Oh, no, it'll be sending me back to the Warsworn base, right? Probably? Maybe? I guess he's the du dude who does the, um... Board contracts, which I think is what that was. Well, that was terrible. That was also terrible. This is less terrible. Because it's actually good. Nice, okay. Uh, Chakrams of Craft. I could really go for some new lockpicks, though. I mean, we've got a decent amount. 
but it still kind of sucks. What have we got over here? Oh, this is a fake cairn. And that is the star camp. Oh, we finally come full circle. I've definitely been through the Sunder Caverns, though, so I might quickly do that before we head back. Because I know it's just going to be something we're at, like, for two seconds. Oh, that bugger was just having a lovely little worship. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. I thought Athene... Who gives a 20% XP bonus. She is amazing. I thought she was exclusive to the Colossi region. I thought she was their god and no one else's. But I guess I'm a complete fucking idiot. Fair enough, but seems very dumb. I wonder if I can place a marker. Set a waypoint. I want this to be here forever. Because I just want to remember that that is the Shrine of Ethene. I wish I could name it, but I just basically want a permanent 20% XP buff. As if I wasn't already overleveled enough. The troll named Nyx had a most troubled heart. In oh, nature, that poor little bastard. With its part. It hated its difference from the norm and wished to shed its current form. In grief, it went to the maid Windermere. She motioned to Nyx and beckoned him nearer. It is your wish to be human, I see, she whispered to the troubled troll in glee. I shall grant you your wish and make you so. You are a human now, she cackled. Go. I love the terrifyingly happy music we had behind all that sinister shit. What the hell was that? Fucking Christ. I guess it's because all fey tales have a fucking happy ending? And so, so they just sort of automatically assume that that's the mood everyone's gonna be in. But it was- it, I think it's just the dude's voice. I don't think anyone has unsettled me more. I think it's the lisp. I think the lisp is the biggest problem. Why would you ever give your narrator a lisp? I understand lisps- a, a voice actors- some voice actors are gonna have fucking lisps. But like, come on. Maybe don't give them the parts that are meant to sound, you know, booming and, and storytelling and, and grand and everything. No offense, guys, it's just like, damn. Um, where do I want to go now? I guess Sunder Caverns, but I also, I feel like I've missed out on so much of the storytelling potential of those, um, of the Law Stones. I feel like I've left a shitload behind, but at some point I'm just going to go through and get them all. Unfortunately, it's going to be completely out of order by that point, but I, I like learning about the world anyway. I didn't realize they were all telling sort of like one tale that then sort of combines at the end to be a full tale. So I haven't been paying nearly enough attention. What the fuck are you? King Wenson? King Wenson and... Oh no, it's Sir Kreth. They're just here for some fucking reason. Okay. Have you got a fake hand? Or can I just invite you guys to come with me? Because I absolutely need you motherfuckers to come with me. Colossi sandals or the noble shoes. These are shit. No thank you. Alright, let's talk. And I got the wrong one. Apparently only that guy matters. have earned the right to perpetuate the telling. You mortal have no such right. Do you have any idea who the fuck I am, you arsehole? My true name is Trek. And I am the first and only one to have acted in the role of Sir Kreth. Oh, so you've even been alive for fucking ages, or he was a recent hero. Pageantry and decorum. Or maybe Kreth himself was alive for fucking ages. And Sir Emma. Emma and I have sworn allegiance to one another first and foremost. When his sword draws blood, mine is soon to follow. It has been so for seasons. So he's your leader? You don't fight unless he fights, or is he gonna say something very similar? Maybe you're just very, very, very equal partners. Also, you're meant to be the dark and gloomy one. And you have the most flamboyant bitch boy hair I think I have ever seen. Look at that beard! Those raggedy pink mutton chops. Who designed you? Because I'm in love with them. Fucking hell. Court of Enchantments. You trick to find yourself one of the chosen few. It is not a jest or a game or a trifle. It is responsibility to be undertaken with dread caution. No dustling has ever fallen in with the ranks of the court. So far, our banner has fallen. Why can't you kill oh, Nyx? I could kill him if I wish to. But that is not how the song is sung. 
Have you any other stupid questions? I never finished the song, so go fuck yourself. Does anyone even know the song at this point? I thought the entire point was that you fuckers forgot. Well, well. You truly fit Hallam's description. It's oh, nice you're so much nicer. I love you. Snagrel. I am Sir Ermer. This is my companion, Sir Kreth. <sighs> How are you guys decent Welcome friends? To Caverns. You couldn't if be you more come different. come in search of the Maid of Windermere, I must disappoint you. She's nowhere to be found. Ah, uh, okay. Well, talk to me He's about my Kreth. Friend, always there when I need him. And his courage never falters. We are one. When ballads call for Sir Ermer, Sir uh. Kreth will be close behind. So you're like Siamese twins separated at the dick. Fair enough, fair enough. No brothers could ever be closer. Sir Emma. To be honest, it's a little bit too I close, am Sir but Emma still. at your service. My oath bond brother and knight hand Kreth and I were the knights who returned the flaming sword of Rydark. I believe that there is oath no bond, higher calling bond, what's the, the difference? We are all that stands between glory and complete anonymity. It's all bondage in the end. Tell me about the Sword of Ryderk, actually. I don't know why that only just showed up then. Because, I mean, we've known about the sword for quite some time. And I imagine it's going to end up being my reward for this quest or something. But it, I, I don't want it. Uh, of course I don't fucking want it. I'm me. I'm the mage the man. blade used to beat back the Balgan during an incursion many seasons ago. Kreth and I still argue over which of us the blade truly belonged to. <laughs> Aww. It's so cute. You're like little warring brothers. Halam the know White. About the storyteller. Ha. Not even I know the ballads of Halam the White. His telling oh. is the most secret of all, and he's worked hard to keep it so. Well, I wonder if he's said, the original. I have or... complete trust in his judgment, even about you. You fucking better. I'm looking for the Me kids. Too. Well, I managed to find one, but there are plenty more. The maid had them. She was here one moment, but gone the next, as is her way. She did leave behind her old ally, <sighs> Nix the Troll, to give us Why a Why am I so much better pursuit. than all these legendary Kreth fucking I heroes? Nix more times than I dare count. You could say he's an old friend. If you're interested Aww. in joining our little hunting party, feel free. Hell yeah, I am. I mean, I've already got one of those cans. So that's perfectly fine. I've already done just as well as the ancient legendary heroes. Or at least the idiot fucking two-bit actors that are playing them for some fucking reason. What a weird world this is. I love it, but it's fucking strange. The Mantis's legs. What the fuck were they made of? Were they Feyblades? I couldn't tell if they were Feyblades or if they were just regular ass daggers. I have not seen a bear in years! I don't know why this is such an exciting revelation for me, but I don't know. They're fun to fight, I guess. Oh, 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 oh man! I love that shit. I love that shit so much. Yeah, I've definitely been through here already. I wasn't quite sure since, like, a load of new things had shown up. But, I mean, if I'd already looted that fucking chest, then I can only assume we never, ever, ever need to be here again. And I kind of want to do this. I want to I wanna finish this mission before Ethene's thing runs out. Because I want to see what a 20% uh, XP buff can be on something like this. On an actual mission instead of just regular ass fights. I mean, fights give a lot of XP in this game, don't get me wrong, but not nearly as much as being an utter badass does. I don't need any more attacks ever. I finally have something to replace. The fucking nukage. The big fucking nuclear jihad that we've been using for so very long. It's become obsolete, man. Uh, right, what do we got through here? Maybe all the cool enemies already died when I was here the first time, so now we are just fighting wolves? I don't really have any other explanation as to why they're all so shit. Oh, hey. Of course you only appear once I've already- Once I've already been left in the fucking dust by the people who are supposed to be my goddamn friends and heroes, but whatever. Oh my god, die! At least it ain't too hard to make you fucking die, now they're actually coming back to help me. Little late, motherfuckers! Boom! <laughs> really? R really? You wanna- you wanna come in and take my glory with your pathetic little battle cry? No! Not allowed, sir! And we've got one more through here. And then- that should be our fourth, right? Yeah, find the last fake can. If it isn't inside of the troll or something, I'm going to be thoroughly disappointed. I wonder what happens if we circumvent a telling. I wonder what happens if we just do it completely wrong, because I'm technically Sagral, right? So I've already shown up in places where I don't belong, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's part of Sagral's telling that he shows up and helps out these two legendary knights. Because otherwise it wouldn't be two knights and a troll. It would be two knights, 
this one guy and a troll, right? It, it, you don't even have any dialogue or anything. You're meant to be sentient. You're meant to be vaguely human. Oh, that looked pretty goddamn cool. There you go. A troll that has made all these, like a shitload of tiny little baby friends. But why? For what possible reason would he have joined you? Or would these guys have joined you? I mean, get the fuck out of here. I don't like people who can actually resist my attacks. That's not allowed. Jesus, I'm getting better at that. Right, I, mean, I think I'm just going to finish you off with my ice now. Bye. Wait, I can't. I'm actually going to have to finish you off with a little fucking stick attack. Great, thanks. I could not look cooler right now. Two that nights in a troll part two. Was it? Still, I'm baffled as to why Nyx was outside Sunder Caverns. It was surely not to play his part in the coming ballad. There's more going on here than Creth and I are party to, and I want to know what. We'll speak again back at the House of Ballads. And Sagro, thank you. These are times of change, and we all must be on our guard. I think my fucking buff disappeared like halfway through that fight. And I'm so sad because troll kills get you so much. But hold on, guys. I'm getting a phone call that I really must take. So I will be back real soon. I'm so unprofessional. I'm sorry.